Good morning everybody and welcome to Tech It. So we finished the last episode having a look at the energy conduits and I've done a bit of reorganisation uh, basically just because I wanted it a bit nicer. So I've got a pulverizer and a duction smelter to a chest and then I've got a pulverizer and a normal furnace to a chest so that I can actually do the uh, the combination of both. I can eat, I can eat the combination of the two. Apologies for talking extremely quickly in the last episode as well. When I was watching it back I was kind of like, Jesus Christ, was I... Uh, was I a bit un, uh, hyper on the sugar or something? So hopefully I'll be a bit more relaxed this time. I've also removed the sawmill and put the magnet crucible immediately next door to the uh, liquid transposer so I can produce these energy conduits. But really what I want to uh, have a look at creating today is uh, an energy cell, I think it's called. There, this one. Energy cell frame. So I need some electrum ingots, which I get from making electrum blend, which is pulverized silver and gold dust. Actually, I thought I had some of this. Wrong chest. No, I must have used it all. Pulverized silver, no gold ore. So let's just take some gold. Uh, where's gold? Where's silver? Logically, put that in here. Silver, okay. Oops. That's good, I like that. I like it's working exactly as I wanted it to. Some bonus pulverized lead. How many? 14 in there. So pulverized gold. No, oh, that doesn't. It's not clever enough to automate. Oops. It's not, oh, my arm is breaking up. It's not clever enough to, uh, to pull that together on its own, isn't it? I wonder what I get from pulverizing gold or. Come on. I thought it would take the two and blend it itself. Apparently I was wrong. Let's happily pulverised all of those. No, don't shift click it, you muppet. You get quite a lot of electrum for our money. To be fair. So what was the combination? It's a hardened glass, electrum and a diamond. It's not cheap. Should have, I think, hardened glasses over here. Yeah, I made loads of hardened glass in the gap between the last two episodes just because I knew it would be uh, important. Oops. Okay, we'll see, see more now. So diamond. Four electrum ingots. And there we go, energy cell frame. Then we need to take the energy cell frame, put it in the liquid transposer. And this is where I'm going to learn uh, a difficult lesson about the power within this uh, particular mod because obviously I've got Buildcraft pipes powering all my machines and I want to go through the process of changing them to. Not buildcraft power? Yeah, not buildcraft power. So I'm going to be a little bit cheeky and make a second one because I want to do something else with this as well in the not too distant future, hopefully. Might need some more redstone. So let's just throw another 64 in there. Don't know how much redstone is needed. I need to grab my wrench so that this will work. Put that back for now. Put that back in there. Bonus lead, take the silver ore back. Right. The big question that my brain is asking me is does the, or can the energy cell 
connect to the Buildcraft pipes is is the interesting question that I have. So logically, I don't want to put it, let's say, here. I put it... Why can't I, I can't even click anything? Why can't I put it anywhere? I put pipe... What's happened here? Energy cell frame full. It's the same as that one, isn't it? Energy cell, energy, listen, energy cell. Redstone energy frame. Energy cell. Ah. That'll be why. So there's another step. Good old research. So I need my electrum ingots back. Need a couple of lead ingots that I don't have access to, so let's quickly book, make those. Grab my remaining electric ingots as well. Should probably put some more. I need some more lead in the long run, don't I? So I'll make two of these, realistically. So I need two of those. redstone thingamajiggers and we actually have to mix this together so one of them one of them one of them three of them one of them is the wrong construction electrum ingot energy cell frame full lead ingot redstone conductive coil lead ingot redstone reception coil oh, bugger What's this? Electrum. Oh. Learning. Always learning. So four of them will do. So I want to make two of these total, don't I? And now we should all sort it out. So redstone frame. Okay. So those two look far too similar. Redstone reception coil, redstone conduction coil. That's a bit confusing. So now we should be able to see if we can place this in the gap. And does it charge? It does! Fantastic. So it's now acting like a, uh, a battery. So it will input, uh, obviously, Minecraft jewels, and it will power it up. So if I'm not using them on the other side, doesn't appear to be outputting anything. So how do we test if this is going to work? Let's grab... What can we make? Let's just shred some more lead. So we throw... How did I do that? Why did I just move it inside? Yeah, I did. Throw some more lead in here. And that will start draining the power. And then hopefully should start to recharge by sucking power through. In order to bring the, uh, the machines so close together without creating circles in these conductive pipes which can cause explosions, you just use wooden conductive pipes and they don't connect to each other. So that was quite cool. I quite liked that simplicity of that, uh, that minor fix. It doesn't appear though that the output is working. So my machines won't recharge. Hmm. Let's just commit an ultimate test by just putting something in here to build. But he's already building something. He's building redstone chipsets. Fair enough. But it's not actually taking any power. It's charging up. But it's not outputting. So is there any way to tell it that it's an output? This is what I brought the wrench for, because with the conductive pipes, which I should have somewhere, conductive pipes. We 
can now go through the process of replacing Oops. and it should allow me to connect in any manner or fashion so we don't need to worry about these loops anymore we should just be able to run a line of power what? to each of these like so likewise going this way It thinks it can connect, but obviously it doesn't work. You click it and it changes the direction, but I don't think it actually needs needs it at the moment. So let's just check that this is all. Oh crap! Oops. So there's no power here. That means I need to switch this one round. And there we have power. <laughs> Fantastic. So that's the new redstone. I don't like the fact you can see it under the chest. So the new redstone conduit in place. Which is all good. Was I, did I cheat today at some point when I was building this? I must have done. So that's cool. So we now have a battery kind of situation in place. And obviously, if I want to uh, turbocharge it, I can switch all these engines on. And they will also output. And I should increase the speed at which this is uh, being charged. Unless I don't need to, because these producing too many. It only seems to I take in a hundred megajoules per tick. So I don't know how many of these output. How many? There's no way to find out how many how many Minecraft joules an engine outputs. Why, why can't I spell engine? Better way of doing it. It doesn't give me any info or stats about it. Oh well, we have now a battery box connected to all of our pipes and things. Let's just dig a quick tunnel up here so I can get to these. Sorry, but I just don't like that. Uh, if you just shift click with it, yeah, it just pops straight off. Throw that back under there, and connect it like that. And that these loops don't cause explosions, I want to say. So the lasers are now absolutely rinsing it because they have a huge amount of power to drain from that bat box or that energy cell. What are you actually building? probably don't need that many of those. I um, probably forgot about that fact. So that's fine. We want to leave the uh, buildcraft pipes here because we want to use the pipe wire. That's all fine. We're just going to use the redstone energy conduit around the house because it's slightly nicer and slightly more efficient. So that's drained almost all that power because it's used it to, uh, to power the lasers to run them at maximum efficiency. Cool. So the second thing that I wanted to do in this particular episode was uh, sort out some vanilla Minecraft stuff, sort out some uh, enchanting. 
because I want to be able to start building. Uh, I don't actually know how to use these books. I've got a sharpness three, or two sharpness three enchanted books from my adventures, and a load of other ones that I don't really care about. Um, but sharpness three, I want to put on a sword because obviously that will make it a super effective. So to start off, we need to make some paper. It's probably too much paper. Then we need to make some books. So each bookshelf takes three books. So we need 45. I've only got 40. Rubbish. Is there any way to make leather? Tanned leather, nope. Just leather. Rotten flesh and sugar makes leather. Result. So where's this rotten flesh I've been keeping? I've thrown most of my rotten flesh in my bin chest. To be fair. Do you get one sugar per sugar cane? I can't remember. Yeah. Hello, induction smelter. you just become a very much so a new friend of mine. Oh! How cool is that? Is that... That... Oh, now I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> simple things, please. Simple minds and all that. Apparently I'm an idiot. Okay. So we now need some wood. Or some planks. I think that's the maximum you can have. We also need to build the enchanting table itself. Which I can't remember how you do. Enchantment table. Two diamonds, an obsidian and a book. Oh, I've got one more book. Where's it gone? Yeah, one of the coincidence. So, one, two, three, four. I need another diamond. Not all of the diamonds, just one diamond. I did build another one of these energy cells, didn't I? I was going to build. Uh, I'll show you why I'll do that later on. Come back to that. Uh, right, so it was... Is it, it's two diamonds, isn't it? It's obsidian in like a T, upside down T. Diamond, oops. Diamond each side, and then a book on top. It gives me an enchanting table. And I have an achievement that was seem to have a typo in it. So, I have 39 levels. Uh, I want to build a diamond pick because I want to increase my mining efficiency. So I want to, that's what I want to enchant with my current 39 levels. There's a spider somewhere. I have built a hidden, there we go, there he is. Get off, spider. I have built a hidden enchantment room uh, in my downtime and given it some. Uh, annoyingly, I built, I planted three jungle trees and then hit them with some. Uh, oops. Bone meal. Because I wanted lots of different sizes. And all three of them have grown to the exact same height. So rather than giving me like a secret uh, hidden area, I have three identical massive trees. I'm going to put a few more. I want it to be like my own secret temple. Uh, I've also used the hardened glass and the stained glass to try and create a cool roof pan, but it didn't really work. But, you know, you live and you learn. So there it, there we have it. Is that, is that the maximum? I may have not needed as many as I thought I needed. My enchanting thing there. Start to summon it all from around. So I should put this in here and get a straight away level 30. Level 28 is the maximum. So I do need one more, do I? Huh, how bizarre. 
Now, I've forgotten what most of these enchantments do, and I remember that this text doesn't really indicate anything. So the shorter the text doesn't mean the less enchantments necessarily, and the longer text the text doesn't mean the better enchantments. It's all totally random. So we'll see what we get. One, two, three, four, five, and we we'll have that one. And it is nervous. Efficiency four, unbreaking three, and silk touch one. I don't know what Silk Touch 1 does. I have a feeling that Silk Touch 1 has just cost me 30 levels and doesn't actually help. Because I think Silk Touch picks up blocks exactly as they are. So you can get... Can you get grass blocks with it? So you pick up and you mine... For example, if we mine... Uh, if we were to try and mine... Some like stone. How on earth I set this all up? I'm gonna hurt myself. It'll just give me stone. Yeah, so it just gives me stone. Which is, I guess, okay. But it means, for example, if I'm mining coal, I bet I pick up the coal block. So rather than getting the uh, the coal, I pick up the coal block, which not really ideal unfortunately so that was a, a 30 level kind of error really I don't, I'm not particularly impressed by uh, by that I'm sure silk touch is useful in certain situations can't work out what it is I can imagine you can go mining with it and if you don't have fortune for example and you don't need diamonds you can collect a diamond ore and then when you do get fortune 3 which is what I really wanted you can uh, you can smash the same ores so how do I get coal from coal ore? What do I do with coal ore? I can melt... Okay, fine. Oh, that's where I get it. Now I want to know how to use... Is it that one? What you use it for? So I can use it to get coal. I can smelt it to get coal. I can pulverize it to get twice as much coal. Right, there we go. That's why this is good. So I can now, I don't want face plates, why do I want this one? I can now get twice as much coal. That's, that's a winner. So if I was to put this in here, it will pulverize it. I'm not going to burn it because it's not stupid. But it, yeah, I get twice as much coal. That's cool. Okay, so my Fortune 3 pickaxe is forgiven. So it means I can mine any ore that normally drops something and hopefully then double it. Cool. All right. I'll, I'll be happy with that. Well, that brings me to the end of this episode. I might as well uh, leave it here for now. What I want to do uh, in the next episode, I'd imagine, is have a look at generating some more power somehow. So having a look at new engines. I think I need to go to the nether, actually, because I was looking at the uh, possible... Uh, generators that are available and stuff and there's a biofuel generator and anyone that's watched any of my previous tech videos know that I quite enjoyed making biofuel generators so now that there's one included in the game I'm interested to go and uh, see how that works but it requires the use of blaze rods and at the moment I don't have any blaze rods so I'll see you in the next episode hope you're enjoying as ever and uh, bye for now guys